I wish someone else felt the same. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, you got permission? Looks like it. Can I buy you a drink? No, it's all. Get me on. Uh, pint, please, Liz. Why does I want to keep buying me drinks? I don't know. Maybe it's your delightful company. Sorry, I've, uh, I've got a lot on my mind. Now, one final toast. You said that last time. Oh, well. Okay, here's to you, to me, and last, but by no means least, our gorgeous and brilliant concepts executive. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of designers, were you supposed to be giving the architect a call? Mm. Giving the good news? Do you know what? I'll do that from home. It's a bit quieter there. Excuse hey. me, love. Tell him I'm looking forward to working with him. I will. I'll be sure to pass that on. There you go. Sorry, please, you just, um... Put that behind the bar. It's just some of, uh, something I've got to do. What was that about? Don't ask me. Like I say, I am sorry, but we're going to have to let you go. Yeah, I appreciate that. Well, and hopefully, we can work together in the future sometime. Yeah. OK, bye. Bye. In the next life. Something tells me that was the architect. What do you think you're doing sneaking around here? Here, Wigan. Oh, Pat, this is my mum's house. I don't care yours. whose house it is. What do you think you're playing at? <laughs> All right. Keep your hair on, outraged to Weatherfield. Anyway, I think you're the one who needs to answer a few questions. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? No. Just like I don't know anything about poncing around with begonias. Maybe you should keep your nose out of my business. See, though, it's not just your business, though, is it? It's my mum's and Jason's and all. See, why don't you just explain to me what that phone call was all I've about? I've already told you. OK, well, look, maybe I'm just a bit thick. Maybe you should just, you know, no, just, just, just try me again, Pat. Come on. OK, I've told you. Mm. It's normal practice to change the architect at this stage of the project. Now are you happy? No, no not really, because that's not what you told my mum, is it? I mean, I heard you. Why didn't you tell her you were going to sack him? Why did you lie to her? You're really getting on my nerves, kid. Do you want to know what I think? Not particularly, no. You see, before I was poncing about with begonias, I worked in a solicitor's office. So? So, right, we worked on this case where these lying, thieving lowlifes were ripping people off by selling them holiday villas. The thing is, they didn't exist. <laughs> it, was just, it was just a big scam. I mean, these guys were making hundreds of thousands before they were caught and locked up, that is. As fascinating as that little story was, I don't see what it's got to do with me. Oh, really? Now he's being thick.